The referee this afternoon, last season's cup final referee, Douglas Hope from Aston. So a capacity 15,500 crowd set up for the only all Premier Division clash of the third round. And the teams competing are the last two winners of the Tennis Scottish Cup. Motherwell certainly enjoyed their run of two years ago and were bitterly disappointed to lose at Ibrox last season to Rangers by two goals to one in the fourth round after competing extremely well. Philippin to Simpson, they're looking for Dougie Arnott. There's Kirk on the right, winning with a pass from Arnott. Steve Kirk with a shooting chance. The ball had gone over, that is a corner kick to Motherwell. Their first of the match. There's Stevie Kirk. Very much a cup specialist for Motherwell. Dougie Arnott looking up, spotting Kirk on the right. Only had one thought in mind now, he wanted to test Andy Gorham. Robertson was in the way. Cooper's corner, Hately back defending. Martin going up for that with Nisbet. And the shot in the end, sliced by Rob McKinnon. With some determined attacking play there by Motherwell. Mark Hately took a knock as he was involved defensively there. The corner kick from Cooper caused the problem, an awkward landing there for Hately, headed away by Nisbet, helped on its way further by Stephen, and McKinnon snatching at the shot. That's good play by Stephen, and a fine cross, met initially by McCart, Dykstra's in trouble, there's Hately, Scramble of legs there, as the goalkeeper recovers very bravely indeed. Steve Dykstra looked to be in trouble for a moment. The recovery certainly was courageous. Good ball in this by Stephen. McCart got to it, but couldn't head it away. Dykstra goes down, then falls in the ball bravely at the second attempt. So hold up here, David Cooper waiting to take the throw because some treatment is required for Rob McKinnon. But he is going off. Well, it's a very severe blow to Motherwell. He's been an outstanding player, Rob McKinnon, for the club since his arrival from Hartlepool. But they do have a very experienced player in Ian Angus to come on. And he could go straight into the left-back position, vacated by McKinnon, although his natural position is in midfield. He's played very effectively at left-back in his career for both Aberdeen and Dundee before coming to Fur Park. It's Trevor Stephen. Another bit in the sweeper roll. There's no offside here as Arnott breaks into space. That's good control. The early ball was designed to find Steve Kirk, but David Robertson's marking and covering was very good indeed. So good defending there by David Robertson, who won a cup winner's medal for Aberdeen in 1990. And then, of course, for Rangers last season. Cooper with the corner. Chris McCart has gone forward. So there's the other way from there. Right in the thick of that as Hately turns it behind. Maintaining pressure here on the Rangers goal without yet seriously testing Andy Gorham. Cromher, Martin and McCart targets there for Cooper. Couldn't get away from McCoyst, Cooper. There's no one upfield there with McCoyst back joining Hately in defence. the weather worsening by the minute. Cromhair's header. Kirk first to the ball. And a combination there of Nyholt and Philibin. A look of innocence from Luke Nyholt, but it's a free kick to Rangers, and they'll be denied the chance to take that quickly. Dykstra wants three in the wall. Coist looks as though he's setting himself for a shot at goal here. There he goes. 
extremely well struck by McCoy, who wants to be involved in everything around the goal this season. 35 goals so far, and looking for number 36 here. Charged down by Cooper. There's no free kick given there as McCall challenges Nyholt and gives the ball back to Crom here. Rangers not finding it at all easy to work the ball from midfield. Crom here well forward. Back now with Cooper. Trying to thread that through for Arnott. It was well cut off by Brown. A typically inventive pass that from Davy Cooper. And this bit lets that run for the Rangers throw. Stephen there hounded by Simpson. Nyholt turns the ball away because he has twisted himself. He turned that away for a throw, realising that he had done some damage to his right knee. Tommy McLean on his feet there, but he must be reasonably encouraged by the way the game has gone in general terms. This was a good move from Motherwell with Cromher coming forward. And Nyholt playing the ball into a gap for Arnott. Cromher again, good passing by Motherwell. And when the ball came back here from Cromher, it was Cooper who tried to find Arnott, who made a very good run, and Brown just got there in time. Sportsman-like conduct again. As Nyholt put the ball out deliberately, it was returned to Motherwell by Rangers, and Luke Nyholt is still on his feet, looking a little bit unsteady, but continuing for the moment at least. And the free kick's been given for that foul by Brown on Arnott. Another opportunity for Davy Cooper to demonstrate his skill from a set piece. A packed Rangers penalty box. His mother will look for the opener. Right across the far post there by Cooper, held up somewhat by the wind. And now Rangers are on the break, looking for a counter attack. The ball hasn't carried there, a chance is now on for McCoy. he must score. Harry McCoy for the opener. The sucker punch from Rangers. 35 minutes of the first half gone. And the ball here clearly held up in the wind as it was swept forward by Stuart McCall. Clearly it was expected to go all the way through there to Seep Dijkstra, it didn't reach him. And Gordon set up McCoy to take all the time he required to knock home his 36th goal of the season. So McCoy takes the applause, but what a savage blow to Mullerwell after some very good attacking play. Caught there on the break. And clearly an error of judgment by Luke Nyholt, who has been struggling with an injury. He clearly believed the ball was going to run harmlessly through the seat Dykstra. It didn't, and Dale Gordon punished Motherwell with a pass to McCoyst. And Martin. There's Arnott trying to turn, setting it up for Kirk. Now Nyholt. Back to Kirk. And a fine effort there from Motherwell. Steve Kirk on the volley. Well, there were a couple of good chances inside the Rangers box in that particular move. Arnott doing very well, trying to set that up for Kirk, who couldn't get there in time. The clearance from Brown reached Nyholt. This is a good ball back inside, and there's no luck at all for Steve Kirk. Stevens cross. And a very good save by Dykstra from McCoyst. Well, he's had a very good spell on the model goal, Steve Dykstra, the Dutch goalkeeper. But this is a very good stop indeed. The high ball paying off this time for Rangers as Hakeley lays it back. There was McCoy's first time in the volley. Very good block. Angus playing it in towards Kirk, who's found space. This is promising for Motherwell. McPherson with a cross swiftly. But some questions being asked among the Rangers defenders about how Steve Kirk found all that space. A delightful ball in this by Angus. 
and Kirk in behind Scott Nisbet. Closed down quickly by McPherson. Here's Baby Cooper. McCoy turned it away for the throw. The referee brings the first half to an end. Well, a first half which leaves the holders in the lead. Thanks to that opportunist goal scored in 35 minutes by Ali McCoy after an error in judgment in defence by Motherwell, allowing Dale Gordon to give McCoy the easiest of chances. But it really reflects very poorly on the contribution made by Motherwell in that first half. They've played extremely well and they've been very competitive indeed. And this match is still very much in the balance. But at half time, it's Motherwell nil, Rangers won. The rain has relented somewhat for the start of the second half. Motherwell not out, out with complete conviction. They realise that uh, their only real hope now is to carry the fight to Rangers. Well, I'm sure we can expect that. They have Ian Ferguson on the bench, and he may well have the chance before the end to show his ability up front. The former teammate at Hearts, of course, of Dave McPherson there. Well, David Odds feeling the cold down there on the track. Gately inside, Simpson reacted quickly, but Stephen picks it up in midfield. Gordon free on the right. Stumble there by Angus, allowing Gordon to come inside. And that came off the top of the bar. Fine play by Dale Gordon. He hasn't been a prolific goal scorer this season for Rangers. Just twice he's found the net. So got the chance following the stumble made here by Ian Angus. It skims off the top of the crossbar. Here's John Brown breaking. Looking for Haitley. McCart did well enough to ensure that Haitley couldn't get on the end of that. The marking could scarcely have been closer there. McCart has been Haitley's shadow throughout the match so far. And a very effective one at that. You see how close they are here when this ball comes in from John Brown. There's no question of Haitley getting in front of McCart for that. Dale Gordon. Stephen couldn't collect it, but he does so now. Kalachenko popping up in space on the left. David Robertson goes ahead. And the tackle came from Simpson. Well, the Kalachenko they are shaping to have a shot at goal, and he scored twice, of course, at Ibrox last season in the cup tie between the two clubs. And scored the equaliser and then the winner in that particular game. And here he was again trying to get the better of Nyholt with Robertson as a decoy, but the covering player was Simpson. So that's Trevor Stephen. Martin's header, there's McCall. And turned it again by McCoist. Deadly once again inside the six-yard box. The goal coming in 62 minutes. And McCoy can't help scoring against Motherwell this season. Once again, in just the right place. Corner kick initially, Dykstra caught in two minds, but Martin did well. Then McCall thumped the ball in. There was McCoy. And certainly no question of being offside, who's played on by Nyholt inside the six-yard box. Well, a real mountain to claim now for Motherwell. And McCoy certainly relishing this visit to Fair Park again. Gordon playing it back. This is Nisbet. And now Stephen. Big first into McCall. Here's David Robertson. Hately! And the chances are now dropping up with regularity for Rangers. Frustration in the face of Mark Hately. That's the best chance he's had in the match so far. Ball played in by David Robertson being applauded by Hately. Well, Motherwell's defence is certainly caught out. I think they're still shell shocked here. Find themselves two behind after putting so much into the match. But a good ball that by Robertson. Hately on his own. Here's John Brown. That's for Robertson. Cromher goes across. He read that well. Had a good match, Cromher. Kirk to Arnott. Showed too much of that to Stephen. Stephen again, doing well to keep the ball in play. Always had John Brown available. 
Haitley's behind Philibin. This is McCoyst. Space now for McCall. Haitley waits in the middle. Played in early enough. He looks to the heavens there, Mark Haitley. He knows he should have scored. And that certainly would have ended the match in a contest completely. So Motherwell were on the attack, suddenly forced to defend here as the ball was played into space there. McCall had all the time in the world, he had Haitley in space in the middle. The pass was perfect, but the finish from Haitley really was amazing. Space over to the far side from Nisbet. There's McCall. Empty seats now in the East Stand across from us as Motherwell supporters make for the exits. With three minutes remaining, they have formed a view. There's no way back for their team. Gordon playing it in. There's McCoyst! Denied by a brilliant save from Dykstra. Well, the goalkeeper, blameless, I would suggest, for both goals. Well, the 90 minutes are over. Can't recall too much by way of stoppage time in the second half. I don't think Mother will be looking for too much either as McCall plays it in. Simpson working out of defence very neatly indeed. Here's Arnott. Supporting player is John Philibin breaking from defence. But he wanted the chance to do any more. The final whistle goes. Rangers go through safely to the fourth round draw. And while the final score looks comfortable, thanks to those two goals, one in each half from Ali McCoy's. Motherwell were reflecting on their very good opening half hour when they carried the fight to Rangers and threatened on many occasions. But from the moment McCoy's got the first, Motherwell were chasing a hopeless cause and Rangers in the end running out very comfortable wins. It's Motherwell nil, Rangers two. <laughs>